Kapurai people, here we are. So this is pretty nice, isn't it? I get to go and have a little round of golf, always looking for a good excuse. And these pair of beauties have given me that excuse. I've come down to my local golf course, the Abbey View in St Albans, can highly recommend it. It's a nice little cheeky par three, nine holes. Nothing too complicated. This is the eighth and it's, a, no, seventh, and it's a beautiful hole and it's got the Abbey view on it. So that's why I brought you here to share that with you. Of course, we're looking into the ZX 8000 Golf. Um, got a lot to say about this, but before I do, let's just get this on the green, shall we? Give it a little practice swing. A bit rusty. Oh, there's a lady walking a dog. Lady walking a dog. Should be any time soon. Be able to just bounce. So I'll just do another practice swing. Oh, I feel a bit rusty there. I need to uh, pull it back a bit. There, that feels good. Right, let's see if I can clock her on the. No, I mean, let's see what happens next, peeps. Ready? Oh, I've sliced that. Sliced that fucking. That's it, a wood. Right, I think it bounced back on onto a green though, so come down to the green with me and we'll have a little look at the shoes, shall we? Well, that's pretty decent then, look at that. That's, I mean, that's a gimme, basically, isn't it? So uh, that's done well. Uh, obviously, uh, still got it. Um, anyway. Just before we get down into the shoes, just I know you've had a little look, got the Palace Corduroy shop bag, which is very, very useful. In there, I've got my tees, and, which is pretty handy, and uh, some golf balls, obviously my keys, my wallet, mask, hand sanny. It's pretty nice, isn't it? It's got this nice Palace graphic through here as well. Got a few little reflective bits on the, I uh, don't know what you call those, like ring pulls, whatever, for clipping stuff onto. And it's got another little cheeky bit in here as well. You could hide all sorts in here. Didn't realise they made golf bags. But um, yeah, so that's nice. And then, um, oh yeah, up top, seeing what's going on there. That's pretty nice as well, isn't it? Really happy with this. Obviously I bought the whole suit, um, so they're going to do another review on that. Uh, so they wait for that, that's coming soon. But really happy with this. This is beautiful, really lightweight. I think that's going to serve me well through the summer. Okay, oh yeah, just quickly picked up this uh, Lacoste um, polo shirt as well. Um, they did a collaboration with National Geographic and this is uh, some crazy lizard or something. Um, yeah. Can't remember. Anyway, that's the graphic on that, which I really like. Goes really nicely with these jeans. And because it's a public course, then I can just dress how I want jeans chill look like i'm about to do a drug deal probably but anyway this is just why i rock isn't it so let's get into the shoes though that's why you're here they're a bit maybe from over there becky it's a bit far away so maybe just come in close let's have a little look yeah so here it is then look at this zx 8000 never thought i'd have a pair of these in my hands that were made specifically for golf it's like merging a couple of my favorite things really Love playing golf, love the ZX8000. So thank you, Adidas, really appreciate you. So this is a bit of a beauty. I have to be honest, look at that. I mean, let's just start off with that sole. If you're gonna do a golf shoe, make it a bit leery. Thank you, absolutely. Orange and green, they're my favorite ball colors as well. And it's got the matching lace tips too. It's very nice. So one of the unique bits of this is they've got a, a little ball marker, which obviously you always need because your ball should be the closest to the pin, so you need to get it out of the way to get let the other losers through. And uh, they put one on each um, tongue, so how amazing is that? I really like that detail, although I have managed to knock it off a number of times, so I have to keep checking that I haven't left it behind. So that's a bit of a shame, but I like it for now, and it? it's nice. I have to order a few more. Yeah, so that's really nice. And then um, just wanted to quickly say, because people are always ask about sizing of stuff and all the rest of it. This is a pair of UK 12 and a half 
I'm usually UK 12. I bought a UK 12, it was too tight. So the 12 and a half of the weight, so half size up on these people, yeah? And I think the reason for it is the amazing amount of padding and protective, don't know what you'd call it, it's the material is really hard wearing. It's not your standard ZX uh, sort of in, insides, I don't know what you'd describe it as a nylon, I guess it is, but it's super padded. Uh, made, the tongue's made of the same thing as well. Feels like it might be a bit waterproof as well. Really strong, but it's, it's a lot, there's a lot of padding. And of course, the thing that's not given at all is this amazing texture uh, that they've applied, which is essentially a golf ball texture. Don't know which one, whether it's a Dunlop, don't know. Anyway, they've applied a, t a texture across all of this and uh, of a golf ball, which is making it completely watertight, but also probably not giving too much give at all. But you know, those are the sacrifices to get a waterproof shoe. Nice clear lace jewel, that's pretty nice, although I would have loved it if they'd given me a couple of spare ones, a green and an orange one, that would have been a nice touch. Never mind. Inside, I can't pull it out, I just tried to and I unstuck it a little bit, so I don't want to do that. Inside, on the inner side, it's got Adidas Golf on it, which is pretty nice, with some love hearts, and then like a nice lush tea green, uh, tea green? Lush green print on the inside, as in grass green. So that's good. Nice little translucent details that match the lace jewels here too. Very nice. Standard ZX heel support. Nice little Adidas. I don't know if this is what they do on all their golf shoes or what they do, but if it is, they've added that in there. And then just in case you didn't know what model Adidas ZX it is, Adidas ZX 8000, as we all know by now. Flipping it over, got a nice strong grip on there. So far, so good. I mean, it's not exactly wet underfoot, so, but I've not had any slips or anything yet, so it feels all right. Not sure how it'll hold up when it's, it's really wet on the mat, but we'll see, we'll see. And uh, nice torsion bar as well, and that green on, or black on green, if you like, whichever way you want to say it. So that's then then, isn't it? The Adidas ZX 8000 Golf cracking cracking shoe i hope if you're into golf you've got yourself a pair um, because if you're a fan of a zx8000 and you're a fan of golf this is a trainer for you and that absolutely feel a bit sad though because i'm going to say goodbye to my foot joys that i've had for um 23 years so if you're looking for a pair that might last get some foot joys if you're looking for a pair that looks awesome i mean think about it at the you know 19th hole pop in there having a beer whatever you're wearing these looks better doesn't it, it looks pretty awesome so guided I'm not getting up to um, Edinburgh with the boys this uh, summer big shout out to you guys uh, but next year or well, yeah next year I'll be there rocking these um, can't wait well thanks for watching people hope you're staying safe and uh, we'll speak soon won't we take care yeah